Father, in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, the creator of all universe. The I am that I am. The only one of Israel. The mighty man in battle. 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 Pekete krakato kupele krakato koti brete yaga. The mighty man in battle. Alpha and Omega. The breed of life. The mystery of mystery. The power in power. The glory in glory. The I am that I am. We appreciate you for this money, for the service in this money. We know you are here before we are here. We know you are going with us in all things. Blessed be the holy name in Jesus' name. Our Heavenly Father, we praise this morning that you speak to us, O God, in the name of Jesus. Cleanse us from all guilty. Cleanse us from all sins. Cleanse us from all satanic atmosphere. In the name of Jesus, we ask you that you send your spirit, your Holy Spirit, to speak to us. Thank you, Father. Open our mindset. Open our eyes to see. Open, open our eyes to see in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you are the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. La Catalusi Ambaradosia. Becrete Cucate Licra Dabala. Be Alatus Yambaradosia Catayaba. We are going into the world now. Malinda Lucia Lada. Yes. Have your way, have your way, oh Lord. Have your way, in your life, in my life, my Lord, in the city, have your way, have your way, oh Lord. Have your way, in my life. Sing with me, sing with me, sing with me. Have your way, have your way. Oh, Lord, have your way, my love. Have your way, have your way. Jesus Christ, oh, Lord. Have your way, my love. The Lord bless us all in the mighty name of Jesus. The topic of our message today is called sin. Sin. I know it's something you have been hearing for long. It's something you have known. It's something you understand. Is something you have read. You understand the protocol, but you did not understand the gravity. You read it, but you did not deeply understand it. You know it, but you are not familiar with its, with its mystery. You are not familiar with this mystery. So, today we want to talk about the sin. 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 We want to talk about sin. You have been hearing sin, sin, sin for a while. You didn't understand. Sin is one of a poisonous thing. 
in the life of all Christians. Sin is like a poison in the life of a woman being. Sin is likely to be if it is a, a, a snake bite. You know when a snake bites somebody, whether you kill the snake or you don't kill the snake, the is poison is already in that body. And is the target of that poison is to be going to your heart. The target of that of that poison is to be going to your heart because snake when snake bite, his target is to kill. When is when a scorpion bite, his target is also to kill. It poisons. Will be running up to the earth. If you are fortunate enough to stop it, you will see that the only solution you can give to this serpent, to this poison, is to what? To make sure that it comes out of your body. Because if it did not come out of your body, there's no way you can do it. If the snake bite did not come out of your body, there's no way you can do it. There's no way it will finish you. It will make a lot of damages in your life. Also, that is the same way sin is all about. Sometimes we Christians, we make a little sin and we see it as nothing. But I say to somebody right now, listen to me, that you will overcome sin in Jesus' name. Sin is a demonic force. You see, when somebody did anything in life, it's smaller to what sin is amounted to be. Some people think that lying if you lie, it's a small sin. That is something you can speak, speak to God about. Lying is even dangerous than fighting. Because when you lie, you are carrying the qualification of your father, which is the devil. devil the Bible says devil is a deceiver. Is a deceiver. If you look at the book of Genesis, chapter three, two or three, where sin came from. Yeah, three. Where God said to Adam and Eve, he said to them, do not touch these things. Because the fruit he was telling them not to touch is a forbidden fruit which carries sin. There's nothing else sin did than than uh, than uh, a dangerous uh, technique of exposing people to hell. Sin will give you more wisdom. Sin will give you more understanding. Sin will give you more technique. When you want to kill somebody and you are saying that, ah, I will like it, this body. Sin will start giving you subjection. Why can't you use poison? Why can't you use knife? Why can't you use cock light? Go and use my uh, go and use medicine and poison him. Okay, why can't you use a uh, 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 injection? Inject him when he's sleeping. 
So say we be giving you many knowledgeable things you have never taken in your life. That is why God said, when you eat this fruit, your eyes will be opened and you will understand and know what is evil and good. Now, we see that in the area where the woman eat the fruit we are talking about in that verse 6 and verse 7. In that verse 6 and verse 7. You will see that, and let me read it. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it, it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and of the fruit thereof, and did eat. Yeah. And, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they shew fig tree leaf to, to, to gather, and made themselves April. Now, what we are we saying here? It, when they eat sin, it robbed them of the glory. I want you to be following it with your spirit. When they shield sin, when they eat sin, it robbed them of God's glory. They were able to see themselves naked. That is why when, whenever you sin, you will always feel empty. 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 It might be lost, it might be anger, it might be empty. When you sin, you will always feel empty. The Bible said they saw themselves that they were naked. Sin will always make you naked. If you, must, if you have a dream and you see yourself that you are naked in the dream, it's bad. If you have, you have a dream and you see yourself naked in the dream, it is a dangerous thing. It's a dangerous thing. Very dangerous. The Bible says that and they see themselves naked. Before, why can't they see themselves naked? Why can't they know that they, they are not wearing anything? It's because the glory of God was their clothes. Do you know that anytime you see the glory of God live your life? Anytime you get angry, the glory of God depart from you. And you, you are open to attack. And that is why you hear many Christians die young. Why wouldn't they die? Because their life is open to attack. Anytime you commit sin, it might be lost. So anytime this, it might be anything, any kind of sin. It does not matter the kind of big or small it is. It will open you to attack. Immediately a single sin enter your life. It might be even taught. Do you know why it happens like that? I will explain it to you. Because a little sin should not say that we are, uh, God should just leave us like that. But I will tell you why it is. The reason is because God is holy. You know, in everything in our life, we have abomination. When, when a man go to a abbalist and say, Baba, I want, to, I want you to do some for me. The abbalist will say, ah, he can say, do eat or crow. If you eat or crow, something like this will happen to you. He might say, do sleep with a woman, no. If you sleep with a woman, something like this will happen to you. He might say, don't do this, don't do that. If you do that, something like this will happen to you. Is it not so? Yeah, all these things they are saying, all these things they are saying, that don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do, this, don't do that, is a act of saying it's an abomination unto you, to your soul. 
And also, as you see God, this is that God is a God is everything. In fact, He can carry sin. He, he can He can conquer all things. Yes, there are some things God cannot conquer. That God will have to run for His life. These are kind of sin we are talking about. God hates sin. The abomination of God is sin. Whether little or big, it is sin. Well, that little or big, it is sin. God ate it. Sin, that is why whenever God came into your life, when God see that truly, truly you are praying, you are studying the Bible, you are doing his will, he will come with all his power. The moment he come, he will start showing you revelations, clear revelation, revelation from heaven. He will, he will start leading your way, leading you through. But the moment you commit sin, Dara, the moment you commit sin, Dara, what will come into your life straight is that you will begin to feel that the present has gone. And that's the truth. The grace of God will leave that life immediately. I have one tell you a story of a man who died. A story of a man who died. This man is a holiness preacher. I've told you before. A very holiness preacher. He preached with all his heart. But one day, Satan has been trying all the means, all means to attack him, but no, never. They didn't get him. But one day, one of his pastors, it's the general of a ministry, one of his pastors offended him. And he was so angry, talking to them. Why would you do this? He was very, very, very angry. He was very, he was breathing heavily that what the man did was so annoying. Was so annoying. And as he was angry and angry, to go and sit down, when Sita saw that he was angry for the first time in his life, for the first time in his life, then he shot arrow. He shot arrow and the man who says. Sometimes you say that the uh, art attack kill this person. Most of the art attack you see that kill it's not art attack. It is arrow, arrow. The man do like this and begin to hold his art, and the man died there. It's a man of God. By getting to heaven, even the angels were rejoicing that he came to heaven because they knew him as a very perfect man. We have to be very careful. We have to be very careful. When the man not get to heaven, the angel say, oh my God, when they call his name, the man was shaking anyway. But the angel was shouting his name that, oh, pastor, this and this. We know him in heaven. We know him in heaven. But by the time he stand before the AA, the judgment uh, angel, the judgment angel, uh, Look at the book of life, and his name was not there. And his man, the angel said, Ah, how come your name is not here? You, your name is not here. How what happened to you? And he looked, and the angel beside the angel of book of life by the left hand, the angel look open the his own book. By the time by the time the angel look open his own book, he saw that his name was written in the book of uh, anger, and he said, Ah, anger. Pastor Jude, why? Why? Why didn't you stop this anger? Why do you die with anger? And he said, it is devil. It is devil. It is devil that caused it. It's not my fault. Just a single anger. And the angel said, if I call the devil now, can you confront him and tell him that it is him? The man said, yes. It's the one that caused me to be angry. And the angel just stretches his hand like this by the, by the left hand. He just do like this. As he do like this, the angel and the angel of death, uh, the devil himself appear. Wow. Yeah, the devil himself appear. Wow. As the devil appear like this, the angel said, look at this man. The devil looked at him. He said, do you know him? The devil said, <laughs> I know him very, very well. 
I know him very, very well. He has troubled my kingdom a lot. This man has saved many people from my kingdom. And we are even thinking of how to get him down. We didn't know he had died. And, uh, and the angel said, he said, you are the cause of his anger. And the and the and the and, and Satan looked at the man so like and the man was hey, hey, this is the devil. He was shaking like this. And the man said, Am I the one that make you to get angry? The man could not talk. Ah, the angel was like this, he was looking at both of them. And it, it's it's not a it's a matter of life, something life. And the, the, the angel, uh, Satan said, he said, am I the one? He said, now I am wearing black. I have different clothes I used to wear. I used to wear red only. I used to wear red and black. I used to wear blue and white. Which one of the clothes did I wear that day that I make you to get angry? And the man said, oh my God. I don't even know the clothes you wear. He said, where did that stand? Uh, I don't even know. And Satan laughed. Ha, 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 And he disappeared. And the angel said, why don't you wash your clothes with the blood of the lamb before you die? And as he was talking, a voice came from heaven, from above the angel. And that voice says, with a thunderous voice, said, be power! from me as he did say the part for me a wind carried the man of god a wind carry his leg up as the wind carry his leg up it's he carry and throw him into hell the man began to go yeah have mercy have is a lie he entered the hell and was born in there does a single anger a single anger. Does anger one, one anger, one. What is just a single sin? Does a sin? How much more you that are committing lustful things? How much more you that are talking evils? How much more you that are not respecting your husband? How much more you are not respecting the authorities? How much more you that are committing iniquities? How much more you that are committing fighting anger? How much more you that are committing malice? Unforgiveness is in your heart. How much more you, you know what your sin is all about. Football is there. You love watching football. You love watching films, what the films. You, many things. You are still plating your ears. You are still doing things. How much more you? You are open to the attack. Anger is a dangerous thing that chases away the angels of God, that chases away the Holy Spirit. There's a there's angel that we call guardian angel. This angel can never be all seen and stay there. Never. Never. It cannot be of old sin. Do you think God is a fool? No, God is not a fool. God is not a fool. I remember one day my own personal story. Then I was just coming. Then I was I was sitting under my parents. But I, I was living alone in my parents. So there, there, there is a room they give to me. So I don't know what the my uh, my siblings do or what they say to my mother. So and I've forgotten that, but. I remember when, when that thing came, I was, I was angry. I was angry. I got angry. I said, ah, why would you do this? It's wrong. I began to talk so fast. And I was talking with anger. I just hear, bah. I just hear, bah. In my, I hear, bah in my body. I don't know what that bah is all about. And I begin to scratch my head like this. I begin to scratch my neck. It starts from my neck. I begin to scratch my neck. I begin to scratch myself. Immediately. 
I begin to stress. Immediately, I get bass. I begin to stress myself. I was talking about, ah, I was talking about, you know, I do not know what is, I only thought it's just a normal scratching. I begin to stress my amplifier. Eh? I was still talking. After a while, I feel guilty that I have seen by talking too much, by getting angry too well. Then, then, yeah, I, got, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. And from there, I, I, that scratching begin to become more worse. And from there, instantly, I begin to see, instantly, I begin to see something coming from my body. Like a, you know, like a, something like pimples. It begin to appear in my body. I don't know that I have been afflicted with muses. No, seeking pulse of each muses or seeking pulse. You see, all these muses of a thing that attack people, seeking part of a thing, it, they are all demons. When you see, it is when they see sin in your life that are affecting. When there is no sin in your life, they can never come into you. Never. Immediately, I begin to see it growing. Within three days, it has covered my whole body, from my head to my toes. That I be, I will now stay in my office, in my room there. I will close the door. I will open my whole body, empty it, nakedness, as God created me. Naked as God created me. I will begin to stress myself. I will begin to stress myself with pains and tears. Just because of the anger scene, then. I will begin to stress. It's all my body. It's as if I should just begin to remove them. Begin to cut all my skin. I will begin to cry. Talk to God and say, Lord, have mercy. But do you know it is too late? The arrow is already there. God have mercy. God have mercy. God have mercy. For a week, I was suffering it. All my body, all my face spoiled. There is a mark in my, there's a mark in my eyes that is still there till today, since that day. Of that kind of things. Lord have mercy. When God not completely forgive me, that is when he now healed me himself. And that he began to dry off. I said I couldn't wear clothes. And I was a pastor of a church. Then I have to go to the church and minister. I will now, as I wear clothes, nobody knows. I will go to the church and begin to walk gently. Because as clothes touch it, that area, it will begin to hurt. It will begin to scratch me and begin to feel hurt. Any small it like this, I'll, be, I'll begin to do like this. I was sitting, I was, <laughs> yeah, doing as if I'm praying. I will begin to shake. Because people think I was praying, you know, I will begin to, <laughs> I was trying to scratch it. Yeah. People will say, I pass away, I say, <laughs> God bless you. I begin to do as if I'm, I'm dancing. Yabu Shandaba. Yagadusia and Adusia. Ah. So, Pastor, what happened to your face? I said, you know, it's something I don't even know what happened to my face, but they don't know this. It, 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 it is many in my body. I'll begin to, hey. <laughs> yeah. I finished preaching. I was, yeah. Give your life to Jesus. Eh? I was crossing my body on the altar because of a single ang anger. What am, what am I saying? Thank God it's just a disease or a sickness. Or a, 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 I don't know. A, I don't know. What if it was the arrow of death that they shot out of, upon my life? What do you think would have happened to me? I would have died entirely. I would have died. You are committing sin and you are alive. Thank God that you are alive. 
There are sins that you commit that you might not get, you might not be alive to even say, I'm sorry. What do you even can't, what do you think sin is all about? Sin is dangerous. What if that day I was shot the speed, I was shot the arrow of death? What would have happened? I would have ended up in hell. 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 I heard of a man who died. The man who died, people were saying it is at, at attack. But I know it's not at attack. I don't want to come to Bruno because if I contribute, it will be a problem for the wife. The man and his wife have misunderstanding in the night. On the same bed, they used to sing in the same bed, so they were arguing. So the man get angry and he slept with that anger. The man get angry and he slept with that anger. And in the midnight, he began to... <laughs> He could not race again. He was calling the wife. The wife was like, hey, daddy, daddy, daddy. Before they do anything, the man give up the ghost. And they say it is heart attack because he sleep with anger. Which kind of heart attack? We knew it, that it was arrow of, 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 of death that, that get in. But the wife was the cause. That is why I said many wives will never make it. I'm telling you. Many women will never make it. It's not a cause. It's not a cause. Because you women, you always, you always make your husband to sin. The man died with that arrow. This is not how holiness is being made in those days. This is not how. In those days, when you are living holy life, even though you mistakenly say a single word, a single word, a mistakenly say, you will go back and say, ah, brother, I am sorry. You. Ah, that thing I said at time, you say, say, please, I'm sorry. They take holiness as if God is going to appear immediately in there. As if they are going to die any minute from there. They are very, Christians are very careful of what they say. They don't just promise and go. When they say something, they, they bring it to pass. In those days, in those days, holiness has been seen as something very great. People live only life. They live a life of righteousness. In those days, if they are in their working place and their boss is trying to tell them to seduce them, then they better leave the job and let them, let, they let go. In those days, when their boss is telling them to wear trousers because of their job, they better quit from that job and say, we are, I'm not what we make me to wear trousers and we better don't wear it at all. They quit it in those days. But today, Christians of nowadays, they are so afraid to lose their job. They are so afraid to lose their job. They are very afraid. They are thinking that, what if I do obey this man? If I do obey that, that man, my boss, he will give me sack letter. And I don't want to go like that because I still, I still have to feed myself. But holiness is not like that in those days. People will die for holiness. In those days, when people gave their life to Jesus Christ, it will be burning their life as if it is hot fire. But they put hot fire on them. They completely run away from sin. You will never hear a man masturbating for life. Never. You will never hear a man lost in a fight after a lady. Never. In those days. 
But now Christianity has turned to bastardity. It has turned to, to in fact, it has turned to something else. Ah, in those days. 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 Ah, in those days. But right now, sin has become a daily practice in the church. A daily practice that even from the side, children are committing sin. Pastors are committing sin. Choirs are committing sin. It has become a thing of a normal thing. But in those days where ghosts were still real, it was not so. It was not so. It was not so in those days. Holiness are seriously practiced with every hand. They take holiness with a great thing and they see sin with like an abomination that you never do. In those days, when a brother insecurely commits a little sin, he will cry as if he has killed a human being. When a brother or a sister mistakenly commit a sin, he will cry and cry and cry and cry and ask for mercy as if he has done something more dangerous in life. But now, a sister will commit a sin or a brother will commit a sin. They will be seeing it as a normal thing. Do you know that many call Many Christians that God has called, God will never use them till they die. Because there are some things you have to sacrifice for God. I sacrifice my job for God just to be Him. I sacrifice my job for God just to be Him. I sacrifice everything I have for God just to obey him. I sacrifice my education for God just to obey him. What have you sacrificed to me? What have you sacrificed? All what you could do is just to do what you like. I, will, I begin to think about the, 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 the Christians that are in Tusuda who are doing military. I don't think they can make them. Not because of the nature of their yoke, but, but for the nature of the trust that they wear. You see, God, when God was giving a message to the world, he gave it expressly. Expressly, and it touched everyone. It is not completely, it's not, it's not compulsory for you to do that job. It's not compulsory. I don't think, I don't ever think that anyone, any woman wearing trousers as in military will ever make effort. I don't think it's possible. Because as I, I, have, I have been seeing God since when I was small, there's something I know God for is that God is not a partial God. God is not God. When he gives his law, he gave it for no irrespective or uh, irrespective of, of who you are. Sin. 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 Sin can be so much dangerous than killing you. Sin. If I start opening the scripture and scripture and scripture, in fact, we will open the whole Bible. Sin brings fears. When you see a Christian fear, smart. <laughs> When you see a sister and you do like this, and you do like this, it's sin. Fear. Fear. It is sin. 
When you are, when you live your holy life, you'll be bold as lion. To our estates that when they bring lion like this, you will take some courage to stand. Same being free years. That is why it is written in Revelation chapter 21. Yeah. Revelation chapter. Chapter 21. Verse 8. And it said, 21 verse 8, but the fearful, listen to me, but the fearful, one, and unbelieving, two, and the abominable, three, and the murderers, four, and the warmongers, five, and sorcerers, six, and idolatry, seven, and all liars, eight. I have their part in the lake, which burn it with fire and brim so, which is the second death. You see that? You see that? You see that? Do you even see that at all? And all fearful. You see fearful there. So you, if you are a type of person that you used to be afraid, you cannot be careful. Forget it. If Jesus Christ comes, you can't go. If you die, you can't go. Unbelieving. If you die, you can't be careful. You can't be careful. You can't be careful. You can't be careful. Unbelieving. I pray you and I will make heaven in Jesus' name. It's not all the prostitutes. It's not prostitution alone that can make people to go to hell. Even what you think in your heart. What of what you think in your heart? Eh? What of what you think in your heart? What you think in your heart can also take you to hell. It can also take you to hell. I mean what you think in your heart. So because of this, I want you to see sin as a dangerous element you can ever touch in your life. Dangerous thing. I want you to change your perspective about sin. Sin is something that can destroy your life completely break you into pieces, destroy God's destiny and purpose in your life, God's plans in your life. Sin can cancel. You see that little thing you think, I, but it's almost, it's not now. I used to do that. God will to forgive me. That little sin you call that is sin, little sin, it can cancel the plan of God in your life. I want to ask you a question. What do you think that happened? What do you think that happened to uh to this uh this uh, priest? This man that has his children. What is he call his name? Eli. Eli. Eli, thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you, my dear. What do you think that, that happened to him that makes that makes his children to die and the covenant of God died in his life? He is not even the one that committed that sin. His children was the one that committed. God is so strict in his word that God did not, he did not want to know the kind of anointing you are carrying. He did not want to know how close he is to you. He doesn't care.
kind of anointing you carry. It's not seen, but because he cannot discipline his son very well, God canceled the, his covenant in his life. God canceled his covenant in his life. And you know what it means when God canceled his covenant in somebody's life? It means he has rejected you completely. And at the same day, his children died. A life himself, we call him Eli. He died at the same day. All of them perished. That generation perished. And another, another family was given that rule. If you think that you did not, you see, if you think that God does not have substitution over you, you are lying. What I say, you are completely lying. God has substitution. He will substitute anybody who is not doing well. I pray the Lord will help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you saying amen? Amen. 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 Wash where? Wash where? Wash where? So that you don't go to hell. Because if you die with that sin in you, so sorry for you, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. If you come with that sin in you, there's nothing we can do. And I want you to know something that you are number one target of the devil. Your picture is already in the kingdom of darkness. I'm talking. Yesterday, when we were praying, and I saw some of us, their picture is, I saw the picture angry. I don't want to say it yesterday night. Picture was angry. I saw even my own picture there. And I saw the devil targeting us. I saw my picture there. There's nothing that let all my picture got fire there. There's nothing. It is compulsory. Satan will come. Satan is watching us. I pray you and I will not go to hell. So I want you to know something. That in, in, in respect of the miracle you are doing, in respect of the gifts you have, in respect of who you are, the kind of calling you have, opposed to prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher, whatsoever you are carrying, if you are committing a sin, or if a sin enter your life, you are an enemy of God because God will reject you. If God can reject Jesus Christ, if his father can, he said, Eli, Eli, Lamash, Bash, Tani, Father, why have you forsaken me? He will have to forsake his son because in that moment, he's carrying the sin of the whole world. Even though it is still Jesus Christ himself. If God can do that. Ah, how much more you? If God can do that. How much more you? Our God is a serious God. Our God is a very strict God. He do do he do not look at all. When he give a message, he give it. I want you to open it to the book of uh, book of Jude. Book of Jude, chapter five. No, uh, verse five, sorry. Verse is, uh, is it five? I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, 
Ja, ja. Ja. Start from verse 5. Yes. Who can read for me, Sister Fumi? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, read. I will therefore put you in remembrance. Though you once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterwards destroyed them that believed not. You see that? God was the one who saved the Israelite. He said, oh, I have compassion for these people. Oh, my God, they are suffering too much. Oh, my God, this and this is happening to them. But because they believe not, because they obey not, because of the single sin in their life, the Bible said it destroyed them all. Yes, continue. And the angels which kept not their first estates, but left their own habitation, he has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. You see that he's talking about the angels who fell with the devil. Even in heaven, there are, there are rules in heaven. To get to heaven, there are rules you must follow. There are rules. Then in that place, there's not that God forgive me. No, 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 no. There's no forgiveness in that place. There's no forgiveness in that place. Because a angel just left where God placed him. If God said you that, tell you that this is your house, and you leave where God said you should be placing him, you left the place and you go to another place. In heaven, it is totally condemnation. They will send you and put you into serious punishment. And you are, you are forbidden by God completely. If God can do this for the angel, how much more you? Yeah. Continue. Seven. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah. And the cities about them in like manner. Mm -hmm. Giving themselves over to fornication. And going after strange flesh. Are yeah. set, are set forth for an example. Suffering the vengeance of internal fire. You see that? Suffering the danger of internal fire. Yes, now. Continue. Likewise, also, these filthy dreamers defy the flesh, despise dominion, and uh -huh. speak evil of dignities. Yes. Stop here. Stop here. Yes. You see that? You see that? If, if this thing can happen to an angel, how much more you? How much more what? You. If all these things, God can deal with the angels like that and deal with them to the instance that he forget all the relationship they have with him. All the city condemn them, he destroy them. Some people were saying that God is, God is a merciful God, that God cannot do this and do that. If God can destroy the whole world in the time of Noah, and left only eight people out of millions. How much more is you? Eh? How much more is you? I pray you will not lose your life in Jesus' name. This is the last one I'm going to give to you. In the book of uh, Romans chapter 6, verse 23, it said the wages of sin is dead. Always let it ring in your ear. The wages of sin is dead. The wages of sin is dead. If you sin, you are, you are already working hard to collect the gift or the salary of death. Be careful of sin. Run away from sin so that God's plan will not be canceled in your life. Run away from sin so that you will eventually make heaven. Run away from sin so that you will not die prematurely. Run away from sin and be holy. God bless you.